Welcome, Jack. Where hast thou been? Plague of all cowards, I say, and a vengeance too. Marry and amen. Give me a cup of sack, boy, ere I had lived this life long. I'll sow nether stocks and mend them and foot them too. A plague of all cowards. Give me a cup of sack, rogue. Is there no virtue extant? Didst thou never see a titan kiss a dish of butter? Pitiful hearted titan that melted at the sweet tale of the sun's if thou didst, then behold that compound. You rogue, is lime in this sack, too. Ah, there is nothing but roguery to be found in villainous man. Yet a coward is worse than a cup of sack with lime in it. A villainous coward. Ha, go thy ways, old Jack. Die when thou wilt. If manhood, golden manhood, be not forgot upon the face of the earth, am I a shot and herring. There live not three good men unhanged in England, and one of them is fat and grows old. God help the wild. Bad world, I say. I would I were a weaver. I could then sing psalms or anything. Plague of all cowards, I say still. How now, Woolsack, what's mutter you? A king's son. Ha! If I do not bear thee out of thy kingdom with a dagger of lath and drive all thy subjects afore thee like a, a flock of wild geese, I'll never wear hair on my face more. You, prince of Wales. Why, you horse and round man, what's the matter? Are you not a coward? Answer me to that, and poins there. Sounds, ye fat paunch, and ye call me coward? By the Lord, I'll stamp thee. I call thee coward? Ha! I'll see thee damned ere I call thee coward. But I would give a thousand pounds I could run as fast as thou canst. You are straight enough in the shoulders, you care not who sees your back. Call you that backing of your friends? A plague upon such backing. Give me them that will face me. Give me a cup of sack. I am a rogue if I am drunk today. Oh, villain! Thy lips are scarce wiped since thou drunkst last. Eh, all's one for that. A plague of all cowards still, I say. What's the matter? What's the matter? There be four of us here have been ta'en a thousand town this day morning. Where is it, Jack? Where is it? Where is it? Ta'en from us it is, a hundred upon poor four of us. What, a hundred men? If I am a rogue, if I were not at half-sword with a dozen of them two hours together, I have scaped by miracle. I am eight times thrust through the doublet, four through the hose, my buckler cut through and through, my sword hacked like a handsaw, etch his signum! I never dealt better since I was a man, all would not do. A plague of all cowards, oh, let them speak. If they speak more or less than truth, they are villains and sons of darkness. Speak, sirs, how was it? We four set upon some dozen, sixteen at least, my lord, and bound them. No, no, they were not bound. You rogue, they were bound, every man of them, or I am a Jew, else an Hebrew Jew. As we were sharing, some six or seven fresh men set upon us, and unbound the rest, and come into the other. What, forty with all of them? All? I know not what you call all, but if I fought not with fifty of them, I have a bunch of radish. If there were not two or three or fifty po upon poor old Jack, then I am no two-legged creature. Pray God you have not murdered some of them. Nah, that's past praying for. I peppered two of them. Two, I am sure, I have paid two rogues in buckram suits. I tell thee what, Hal, if I tell thee lie, spit in my face, call me horse, thou knowest my old war. Here I lay, and thus I bore my point, four rogues in buckram let drive at me. What, four? Thou saidst but two even now. Four, Hal, I told thee four. Aye, aye, he said four. These four came all affront and mainly thrust at me. I made no more ado, but took all their seven points in my target. Thus, seven. Why, there were but four even now. In Buckram? Aye, four in Buckram suits. Seven by these hilts, or I am a villain else. Prithee, let me alone. We shall have no more anon. Ah, didst thou hear me, Hal? I and mark thee too, Jack. Do so. For it is worth the listening to, these nine in buckram that I told of thee, so two more already, their points being broken, down fell their hose, began to give me ground, but I followed me close, came in foot and hand, and with a thought seven of the eleven I paid. Oh, monstrous, eleven buckram men grown out of two. But, as the devil would have it, three misbegotten knaves in Kendall Green came at my back and let drive at me. For it was so dark, Hal, thou couldst not see thy hand. Their lies are like the father that begets them. Gross as the mountain, open, palpable. Why, thou clay-brained guts, thou naughty-pated fool, thou horse and obscene grease, tallow, catch. What? Art thou mad? Art thou mad? Is not the truth the truth? 
Why, how couldst thou know these men in Kendall Green, when it was so dark thou couldst not see thy hand? Come, tell us your reason. What sayest thou to this? Come, your reason, Jack, your reason. What? Upon compulsion. Zounds and I were a strapado or all the racks in the world. I would not tell thee you on compulsion. Give you a reason on compulsion? If reasons were as plentiful as blackberries, I would give no man a reason upon compulsion. I... I'll no, be no longer guilty of this sin, this sanguine coward, this bed presser, this horse back breaker, this huge hill of fresh blood, you starving? You hell skin, you dried neat's tongue, you bull's pizzle, you stock fish. Oh, for breath to utter what is like thee, you tailor's yard, you sheath, you bow case, you vile standing tuck. Well, breathe a while, and then to it again, and whence thou hast tired thyself in base comparisons, Hear me speak but this. Mark, Jack, we too saw you four set on four and bound them, and were masters of their wealth. Mark now how a plain tale shall put you down. Then did we too set on you four, and with a word outfaced you from your prize, and have it, yea, and can show it to you here in the house. And Falstaff, you carried your guts away as nimbly with his quick dexterity as roared for mercy and still run and roared as ever I heard bullcalf. What a slave art thou to hack thy sword as thou hast done, and then say it was in fight. What trick, what device, what startling hole canst thou now find out to hide thee from this open and apparent shame? Come, let's hear, Jack. What trick hast thou now? By the Lord, I knew ye as well as that he made ye. I hear you, my masters. Was it for me to kill the heir apparent? Oh, should I turn upon the true prince? Why, thou knowest I am as valiant as Hercules. But beware instinct. The lion will not touch the true prince. Instinct is a great matter. I was now a coward on instinct. I shall think the better of myself and thee during my life. I for a valiant lion, and thou for a great prince, true great prince. But, by the Lord, lads, I am glad you have the money. Hostess, clap to the doors. Watch tonight. Pray tomorrow. Gallant lads. Ha, boys, heart of cold, all the titles of good fellowship come to you. What? Shall we be merry? Shall we have a play extempore? Content. The argument shall be thy running away. I know more of that, Hal, and thou lovest me. 